Made up my mind, make a new start Born in California with an AQ In my heart What's up folks, it's your boy Mike, back again Late in the season, middle of the season We heading up to Walmart right now, Anaheim, California Off of Euclid and the Palmer, Euclid and Lakeland And uh, going up here to meet a Ram legend John Robinson Now let's go ahead and uh, send you through the trip And enjoy yourself my heart. Hello, Mr. Robert. Oh, it's an honor Thank to meet you. you. Long time Ram fan. Jim Everett. Jim Everett. Jim Everett. Yes, sir. And on behalf of Bring Back the Los Angeles Ram, we want to slide those to you real quick. Bring back the Ram. Yes, sir. And, no, those are for you. These are for you, sir. And then we also brought these for you. And we also want to, on behalf of the Bring Back the Los Angeles Rams, we want to dedicate these shirts to you. One for you. Okay. Yes, sir. And also for another Ram great that's at USC, Mr. Pat Hayden. Okay, I'll give that to Pat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that's great. Thank you. That's great stuff. And I would love, love, love if you could sign my jersey. This is the custom jersey that I have. We've got Greg Bell, Mike Lansford. And I told, I got an interview with Mike um, at the first Bring Back the Rams rally. And I told him the moment that I was born was the moment that he kicked the field goal in New Orleans in 83. <laughs> that was a big one. That put yeah. us in the playoffs. Yes, exactly, yeah. And my dad, he was in the waiting room and he was like, hold on, 10 more seconds. And then my mom got on the intercom like, Mike, come in here. And then she, he's like, 10 more seconds. And they kicked the ball and they won. I was born. And, well, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, no problem. You, it's amazing to meet you. You're, you're one of the greatest Ram coaches ever. Well, Can I ask you one question? Sure. How was it like for you to come in to be the Los Angeles Rams coach after Ray Malavese? Well, I just followed Ray. His pants were bigger than mine, so I had to get pants. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank See you, sir. You. I appreciate right. it. Yeah, okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I have to throw this in there. Bring back the Los Angeles Rams. All day, every day, we push in this movement. I just came back from meeting a Ram coach legend, a USC coach legend, who also played at the University of Oregon, was a defensive end. And what a lot of people don't know for one year, I think it was 74, maybe 75, maybe 76, not sure. But he was a running back coach for the Oakland Raiders. And many people don't know that John Robinson grew up and went to school with John Madden. And when he ended up going to the, and being the running back coach for the Oakland Raiders, he was basically reunited with his, his childhood friend. You know, because him and John Madden, you know, that's like two peas in a pot. I mean, two great coaches growing up together, no wonder they were both great in their own states and their own right of mind. Throw me a line if I read to the time. Basically, if you look at it, the owners are all men. It's a man's world. And they look down at her as being a little girl that doesn't know what she's doing. And that's it. and they were exactly right. She did not know anything what she was doing or what she was supposed to be doing. Now, if, you, if Carol Rosenblum would have never died or got murdered, the team would have still had success. We would have never got rid of Eric Dickerson, Kevin Green, Sean Gilbert, um... Roman Pfeiffer, I mean the, t the the list goes on of who we got rid of to dismantle the team, to kill the attendance, to kill the wins, to basically get the team or the league to agree to move the team out of here. Now the only, one of the only reasons why they, they moved the team out of here was because of her. It wasn't because of attendance because every fan that was here, it was consistency of 40 to 50 to 60,000 every single year. Win, lose, or tie. All the true diehard Ram fans were here every single Sunday. Season tickets, buying tickets on game day, tailgating, doing what you were supposed to do. Now, the Rams need to come back to Los Angeles in the state, in the fashion that Tim Laiwicki and Stan Kroenke, they're both businessmen. They know how to make money. They know how to market a franchise. They know what they need to be done to make money. Now, everybody wants to say that Stan Kroenke, he's so Missouri, he's so Missouri, he's so St. Louis. When you guys have to keep in mind, business is business, 
and pleasure is pleasure. Personal is personal and everything is everything. Now when you when it comes down to it, you really look at it, Stan Kroenke, he wants to make money. I'm not gonna say that he's a greedy guy, but usually and generally every business person is money hungry. Now, if you have an opportunity, say you're a multi-billionaire, multi-millionaire, whatever, and you have an opportunity to go ahead and make a couple billion dollars in the couple future years, and you say no, let's go another route, let's go another venture, now who's the smart guy in that, dec in that decision? Because it's not the person who said no. Now, if you're a multi-billionaire and you're mul making multi-millions, multi-billions already, now and you're basically getting a free paycheck and basically a free vacation with a new home are you not gonna take that I would now as, as I was speaking about it earlier and I'm gonna turn around for you guys so you guys can see this the ghosts of the past the voices of the past will all be heard once the Rams are brought back to Los Angeles now once the Rams are brought back to Los Angeles the team will be home, the team will be here for good, the team will be supported, the team will have tremendous backing from the SoCal area, the Rams fans from back in the day, the new Ram fans that were born in the era of no Los Angeles football team that continued to follow the Rams by following of their father, brother, mother, sister, uncles, aunties, because what many people don't understand about football that aren't football fans is the American pastime is football. When you can come out here at 6 in the morning for a 10 o'clock game and tailgate with your family, your friends, and your loved ones, have a couple drinks, have a great barbecue, links, hot dogs, burgers, whatever, and to be with your family and then to, to cheer and chant and to be here with your family and friends to watch your home team, your team that you've supported for years and years and years, you see them win, and you, you get to celebrate. You get to celebrate with your friends and family, rather than going to a bar where you don't know nobody, going to a sports bar where you have tons of enemies around you, where you don't have no local support for the team that you're rooting for. Ram fans, get on those blog boards, get on those message boards, Farmers Field, ESPN LA, all the local LA TV stations, bring back the Los Angeles Rams. Get on the St. Louis message boards, bring back the Los Angeles Rams, because we all know Los Angeles needs the Rams home. And it's been your boy. Have a great day. The show must go on.